We've had a lot of others who are standing down, who are dropping by the wayside, who aren't making the commitment that First Wind is. And they believe in Maine, they believe in this resource. Mars Hill is a farming community and we don't have much industrial tax base. We looked at this as an opportunity to get a nice, clean industry into town, to have as much impact on the local economy. The city of Mars Hill is getting $500,000 a year from revenue taxes. That's a lot of money for a smaller town like Mars Hill. The construction of a project is very intensive and the entire community in that area will become involved because it's a major infrastructure piece. I think the best example that we have is a project that we did in Maine called Stetson. We spent $65 million on the non-turbine part of the project and $50 million of that was spent to over 100 different Maine companies. The renewable energy sector has helped replace uh, markets that have, are much diminished because of the economy. We're about a 400 person company and it's providing 25 to 30 percent of our volume at this point. We've actually been able to take the techniques and expertise that we built on with these projects and, and export them out of state. Expertise is developing, project histories are developing, so that Maine should become a center for wind power and wind expertise. A lot of businesses profited from this project and are still continuing to profit. Through lodging, through food. Hardware stores, gas stations. All of our equipment suppliers our material suppliers and all of those support services. Overwhelmingly when we come to a community uh, people want us there. They understand that we're there to grow jobs and we're going to work with the local planning board like we're guests in their home. When you're dealing with any developer that's an important attribute. First when they had indicated to us that they would permit it, build it, and own it for the long run. We think that the continuity adds value to the project and ultimately to the area. We want to see developers who um, are going to stay in the community and have a real commitment in Maine. The forest landowners are beginning to look at it as an, another resource that can be managed in the context of their overall plan for the land. I think folks will get used to it. You know, I'm, I'm surprised myself because I think the individual generators are beautiful. It's always exciting to come up Route 1 and get the first look at it down off one of the hills down in Littleton and see them turning. The more people are informed of the benefits that it's given to our town and, and, and to our overall planet, then the resistance has become much less. The more I've learned, the more I realize what a positive thing it is. As a Maine native, you're never more than a stone's throw away from a river or the woods or the sea. So it's very rewarding to harness that energy to further the economic base of Maine. Our family goes back fishing in the woods of Maine for generations. So for us, we very much view our communities as our partners to help drive the economic and environmental attributes of that town. I was born and raised in Maine, and I chose to want to live and work here. And so I'm proud that some communities in the state of Maine have been willing to embrace it. I've been born and raised in this town right here, and without the wind power business, I mean, our company would not be the size it is. We're making energy out of wind, instead of burning fossil fuels. It's clean, it's abundant, it's here to stay. We don't see the renewable energy sector shrinking. It's an economic engine, and in Maine, we've proven that. I'm proud of First Wind, I'm proud of what they're doing here, and we've got more work that needs to be done.